Now back time, got a bunch of stuff here. Let's get stuck into it. Did my links below for these things. Dual game pot and some ones with switches, I think. I think it might be this another dual game. There's. And this one's got a centre position, centre detent. No centre detent, just uh, dual game. This 100k and 50k. I'm stocking up. We've got some more pots. A spline shaft, another dual gang, 50k. We've got a plastic shaft, a D-type shaft, a standard one, single gain, and that's 10k. Now this has all come about because I was working on a piece of equipment. Oh, it was a uh, Sony airband radio, and the pots were bad on it. And I thought, oh, you know, I need to get some more pots because I didn't actually have the selection I wanted. We'll see how this goes. We've got some more pots. And these are very similar to the ones in that radio which I replaced. They've got this collapsing section here. So these are very similar to the ones I actually needed. But I didn't have these. So I actually found some similar, but these don't have a switch on them. These are just dual gain pots. I, if I had these, I could have actually replaced them with a very similar setup. Just for no switches. I've got some now. And we've got these ones here. These are actually really hard to find, this type. Trying to find some of these with switches on is also really hard. I think I found any actually. Some more dual gangs here, I don't think these have got anything special about them. 10Ks, and some more of these, same style as these, but there's a shorter form factor, and it's got a spline shaft, but the footprint is the same. So these are interchangeable, kind of. We have some more pots. Uh, value is 10K, these are the standard type, but they've got the pins facing forwards, which is a little bit more unusual. We've got some more pots. These have switches on the back of these ones. Dual gang and with a switch. These are quite useful, like CB radios or equipment which has an on off switch on them. And that's the main use I'd have them for, so we're doing CB work. Not like I do much CB work anymore. Yeah, I just don't really have time, but when you need the parts, you need the parts. You've got some more pots. These are some more, these are much more like the CB type than the older CBs, like the old Cobras and Unidens and stuff like that with a switch mechanism on the back like that, this larger one. It's also a dual gain. I think this is a dual system. Yes, this is a dual pot. So there's a small shaft there and an outer shaft here. So they've got two knobs that go on here. So it's dual controls. This is like volume squatch type control thing. Again, a bit harder to find, but I found some. And don't forget, if you're looking for any potentiometers, there'll be some links down below. We've got some pots. This is a dual dual gang so it's got dual assemblies it's also got dual controls these are pretty unusual so got some couple of each it's some more parts some more dual pots uh dual gang ones yep just a uh, 50k dual nothing too exciting i think got another one that is very similar to this already We've got some more pots. It's a pot of Gideon. It's another dual pot. Short spline shaft. Excellent. We've got some pots. So these are some more dual game pots, but these have got a D shaft and this slightly longer shaft. These have got a center detent as well. Center detent version. These sorts of things are good for like clarifier controls. Because you need the center point. We've got some pots. There's a single gang with a switch on the back. This is much more like the one I actually needed when I was doing that repair. But I needed these, but with a longer shaft on them. And we've got some more here. I think there's different values. Switches on the back of that one as well. There's 10k and 50k. We've got some pots. These are much like the first ones I showed. This latching shaft, so you can push them in and literally latch them in and out. And this is a dual gang as well. Very similar to the first ones I showed you. What have we got in here? We've got some pots. So this is a dual pot. Dual pot with a switch. Nice. Again, this is the sort of thing you'd use on a CB radio. It's uncanny. Every single package I've opened so far has been potentiometers. Every single one. What are the odds of that? Do you think our luck is going to stay up? We've got some more pots. <laughs> Look at the size of that shaft, look at that one. 
Oh, I bet you don't hear that all the time, that's what she said, eh? Um, yeah, really short little stubby shaft on this one. Really unusual. Now, it's actually been equipment I've repaired in the past, which needed something like this. I didn't have anything like it. I just happened to stumble across this particular style. And again, this is a dual gain. In fact, this is a quad gain, this one. So, yeah, bit unusual, those ones. So, I reckon this is going to be pots. Comments down below right now. Actually, while I'm thinking about this, if you can comment on my videos, if you just comment down below, give me a thumbs up or even share my videos are even better. The YouTube algorithm pays attention to that and it helps to promote the videos more and it helps it to just make it look like it's more popular because people are interacting with the video. So if you really want my channel to do quite well and then grow and get better stuff and just do better in general and just grow more, then please comment down below and give us a thumbs up or share the video. I do if you share it, it's even better. But commenting certainly helps. It's some more pots. <laughs> it's single gain, short shaft, spline shaft. What do you reckon? Is this pots as well? <laughs> oh, I think it's pots. Are these pots? Yes, there's, there's pots. I was right, there's pots in there. There's a uh, triple gang, I think. I'm not quite sure, it's an interesting setup. This has got a switch on it as well. Don't know what those were. And we've got these as well. These are 40 position switches. So these are used in things like CB radios. 40 channel selectors. A lot of modern ones these days use a uh, radio encoder instead, because they're cheaper. Yeah, these switches are quite expensive, but these are the same as ones used in CBs. So it's like a row of three, row of two, row of two, row of three, and so on. And so you, sometimes you need these, because these channel selectors can fail. Anyway, so you've got ones with a long D shaft, and we've got a shorter one with the spline shaft. I do actually have some spare channel slithers around. I don't tend to use them very often. Very rare, in fact, but I have used them in the past or needed them in the past. And I've had to resort to actually trying to repair the switch well, because I didn't have a suitable one. Anyway, I saw these on AliExpress whilst I was looking for pots. As you can see, I found some pots. And uh, I thought, yeah, I'll get some of those. They could be useful. They weren't particularly cheap. 40 position switches. Useful. So, do you reckon this could be pots? <laughs> It couldn't be, could it? There's no way it's going to be pots. There's no way. Absolutely no way. It's pots. More pots. So these are some dual gangs. Both of them, spline shaft. Spline shaft also has different values. 50k and 20k. And plain one, no centre position. So, okay. Potageddon. I think I'm just going to do a mailbag with all the pots. Just pots. I'm going to put this in a different video. So if you see this pot video in the future, which you will, I would have already done this one in a different video. Maybe before this one. Quite likely, actually. It's more pots. Yay. <laughs> These have got the D-type shafts on them. Now, if this video looks a bit different to the other one, that's because I received these later on and I've inserted the video into this one to keep them all together. Because who doesn't like having loads of pots in one place? Absolutely potty. If you think we're going potty, then subscribe. There's other videos down below if you want to watch other things I've made. Some repair videos, maybe some things using some of these pots. Yeah, I get carried away sometimes. There's a bit of a thing to this. I'm not spent about $400 on pots. Shh, don't tell my wife. And thanks to Patreon supporters, without you, I wouldn't be able to go potty and buy all these pots. Catch you later.